Hello, hello, it's Hawker15 here, back again with another reaction video. Whoop! Um, that was really fucking cringe, I'm not gonna do that ever again. Anyways, guys, uh, this is gonna be an interesting one. Uh, today, Ranton has released a new review video. I know his videos do take time, but goddamn, whenever Ranton edits his videos, they are godlike. If I were to watch any gaming review, it would have to be Ranton. I think Ranton does pretty much one of the best freaking game reviews ever. I mean, honestly, he gives honest opinions about the game, good and bad. So yeah, uh, I really, really loved it. Especially when he gives them a 7 out of 10. But you know what? Pretty good! Um, without further ado, uh, this is going to be awesome because it's going to be The Last of Us 2 review. Huh. <laughs> uh, as you may have all have known, Last of Us 2 was reviewed poorly. Not not on the gameplay. I think gameplay itself was fine. I mean, gameplay itself was incredible, especially the impact of blows you can put on people, especially the gruesome, gory fucking kills. Oh my god, you can shoot off limbs and shit, dude. Like, you can actually shoot people's jaws off. Like, it's fucking crazy. It's insane. Naughty Dog, I'll give that to you. But the story, that's, um, that's something. Hmm. Anyways, guys, I'm just popping out these videos right before I head off to training. So, uh, this is going to be, you know, pretty good, pretty good, fa fairly quick uploads. But also, you know, reactions coming from me because I've always wanted to do a reaction to rant on videos. Again, you know, there's a lot of people that love reaction videos, and I like to give them to you guys, so yeah. Uh, again, also, I'll be doing a spooky vlog adventure, I know, right? So, as you, as you guys don't know, I started my vlogs out with spooky adventures. If you haven't known that, it will, if you head over to my vlog playlist, you will see two spooky vlog videos. Those spooky vlog videos is basically me and Adam and the boys, yeah, the boys on spooky adventures pretty damn fucking great if you haven't watched them go go see them they're actually really funny and incredible you get to see the pain you get to see some horror and you get to see some spooks from down under yeah so i'll be filming a spooky adventure on friday night sydney toy so yeah can't tell you where we're going because you guys will you know haunt the shit out of me so yeah you guys are also going to see me in a new wig brand new wig brand new outfits you can see Trap Hakuru. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the introduction out of the way. Without further ado, you guys want to see me wrecking Duranton, so let's do this. One, two, three, go! Oh, <laughs> ask me one more time. <laughs> <laughs> wife <laughs> it's only been 12 seconds we're already in <laughs> again you can't predict what he's editing is gonna be like oh my god let's just continue holy shit it was too huh <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. I feel like usually y'all are watching my videos like, but not today. Today not you're today. like, fuck you, asshole. I have successfully avoided spoilers except for. One side's going, and the other side's going, and then you got the people who made the game going, what is a critic? Yeah. The yeah. Drop me. All of you need to find me, like me, I'm super chill. How about we get all art in one place and we... Burn it. Burn it. Listen, I ain't treating this any differently from any other game. Main character, Mene Frego. <laughs> Meaning there's stuff I like, stuff I don't like. You can right. listen or not. Make up anything you want, I don't give a shit. But I'm warning you, I'm going in deep. It's gonna be heavy, heavy, heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. heavy, heavy, heavy. heavy. But it will also get the plot. So let's oh. get into it. As a foundation, please know that for me, The Last of Us 1 was a 7 out of 10 story. Can we just pause right there? Ranton is just. He's talking in Mach 10 speed. Holy crap. You, 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 can, you, can he, you could not hear a single 
breather out of Ranton. My guy is speaking at Mach 10 speed. What the fuck's Mach 10? I don't know. I just made that up, I think. Holy fucking shit. He just broke the sound barrier at this point. Fuck. This editing is gone like. We're only at a minute and 18. And this is the, the production quality value that we're getting. Holy crap. Again, it's amazing. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to Ranton, go subscribe to Ranton. He does amazing videos. Seriously. Jesus Christ. It was okay, but honestly, okay, I gave myself a boring engineer. It's gonna be action with a twist. Didn't need a sequel, it wasn't a twist, but now we here. Shut up, Ranton. Oh, I have <laughs> never, ever, in this live or time, I've seen such a beautiful game. Not beautiful, like, let's fuck, but beautiful, like. In Ellie's ass. Oh, yeah. It is gorgeous. On Ellie's such ass. a high level of consistency. Over such a huge period of time, there is love. And <laughs> at every corner of That's the true. That's very true. are marked with a J. Oh, yep. Imagine Jacob's Town. with a capital J. <laughs> they gave life to a world that has become somewhat void of it. Except yeah. it has no fucking life. And don't think, oh, so it has good graphics or what? Yeah, yeah, isn't right. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is unprecedented. <laughs> Truly, Calzone. I absolutely adore the overgrown shitty scheme. It had I do adore uh, a lot. I do adore yeah? fantasy God of War style or post apocalyptic shit. This mm. is definitely a little bit more up my nose. Something about the setting is so eerie and intriguing to me. It's giving me major I am legend vibes. Yeah. <gasps> Yes. <laughs> there were so many moments when I just had to stop for a minute to take a picture with my phone. Wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Although in terms of visual variety, it doesn't offer the most groundbreaking palette. Uh, yep. It still offers you so many vibes. It also mm. becomes a horror game at times, and it's scary as an alpha. Awesome guys. The genre makes <laughs> deliver an amazing the gameplay. Yeah, not gonna lie, I think Last of Us 2, they still nail that aesthetic kind of feel on like different levels uh, and etc. So, you know, again, keeping that kind of consistency from Last of Us 1 pretty damn well and adding more stuff to it. So, you know, Naughty Dog did a pretty good job on that. Not gonna lie. Like, again, presentation of the levels were great. It's not the story. I think everyone just was really bummer about that. So, yeah. It is what kept me hooked from start to finish. Mm. Smacking someone with a baseball bat is so satisfying. I know, right? Like, look at that! <laughs> He's dead! effective and fun because the animations are insane! The animations are insane. <laughs> You. The fluidity <laughs> and how impactful your attacks are can be summed up by this stop. You go, Queen. That stop was cool. <laughs> I don't believe in queens. Overall, nope. I do need to say though that it lacked some innovation. It didn't surprise me with any mechanics. It just took what we know and polished it to near maximum Zanska, almost mm. setting a new standard for the industry in terms of. Mm -hmm. The only thing that consistently <laughs> didn't quite work for me was the cover system. Go to cover. Go to cover. Go, Go to, to cover. cover. Gore, for instance, is something that I really enjoy if mm. done right. Uh, yeah. And the violence in this game is. Oh, not over the top, but not shying away from it either. That's Shooting true. Leg up and then see him cry before he dies is what I live for. Now, what am I? Yeah. Chinese. I'm not gonna lie. That's what I live for too in video games. I'm not gonna lie. They're very, very satisfying. I do apologize with the uh, <clears throat> with the <clears throat> fuck. I do, I do very apologize for the pausing. But I have to admit, I agree with Ranton here. It's very, very satisfying. Very, very satisfying. Come on! Okay, let's continue. He's a Galva album. Got nailed even harder than the action is the stealth part. Stealth action? Stealth Take action perfection. Why? Essentially, oh, the headlock. being able to crawl. Not mm. kidding. This added so much depth to each location. Relocate gives you so many more possibilities, and it reminded me of Metal Gear Solid Five. Pretty much. Your fucking chink had to be said. This is also mm. necessary because, in combination with the incredibly intelligent AI, hiding is very important. I'm oh yes. 
there is no marking enemies anymore. Splinter Cell Conviction made it mainstream the uh, mark and execute. <laughs> <laughs> no more! Makes everything way too easy. That's true. The listening skills are helpful, but they're by far no easy win. And mm. I love how brilliantly they have implemented sound cues. To give information oh, to the player in cool. subtle ways. For instance, you know that when you hear the sound, you're about to see a... <laughs> you can even replay encounters. I love this shit. Now the dog, you really thought of everything. Yeah, that's true. The crafting and skill systems are fine. Nothing out of the ordinary, but the weapon upgrades are quite something. How Ellie is founding the weapons with all these metallic sound effects. Ooh. <laughs> clean. What's not that's clean. So clean? <laughs> now let's move. Are you kidding? <laughs> Ranton, dude, that was nasty. Oh my god, Ranton. Oh, that was some nasty shit, Ranton. <laughs> nasty. I swear to god, I don't think I can like focus on the review because it's just too funny. <gasps> Fuck, honestly, man. Holy crap. Move slowly into more negative territory. The gameplay okay. loop of constant looting through abandoned apartments does get a bit stale and repetitive. Yeah, that's true. Does give you little notes that tell little stories. I'm not that interested mm. in Neil Druckmann's personal diet of penis. It got <laughs> a bit boring sometimes. Huh? Excuse me? Me? Now let's talk story. Oh my god. Mm. Random. I will sell your mother on power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell Bell. Ellie is a lesbian. Oh. What a mess! Those of you who have been watching me for a while know I'm a gameplay focused gamer. Story? Mm. More like. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. The game could have been about extracting the cure out of Ellie's premature Muttermund. I Pretty don't much. care. He'll be. I'm <laughs> That being said, <laughs> He's wife. the narrative did have issues. First and foremost, yeah. the pacing was nothing short of disastrous. Mm. It's like watching Once Upon a Time in America on times 0.25. Talk about a fucking drag. And not the Pretty kind much. where they offer but the kind where I'm like... It was a very on. drag. Wake me up when there's something important to see. Mm. Two things can be true at the same time. The flashbacks are beautiful and yes. chill, and they yes. also go on for way too long for how little way insight too they long. offer the player. Use them carefully. To me, they mostly served to take an enormous amount of momentum out of the story, slowed it down to a fucking halt several times. No good. As the main no good. story fades into the background, suddenly another side plot attacks you out of nowhere. What's up, everybody? This is Karen. And interestingly, <laughs> this is indicative of a dick. <laughs> The Last of Us 2 is in love with its moments, like I'm in love with my baby Sophia. It appreciates Aww. the small things, also like my baby Sophia. But you run the risk of losing yourself too much. Losing too much. sight of the bigger picture, which leads me to my second larger problem with the campaign. Okay, most stories have a micro and a macro level. Mm. Micro is the little stuff, the relationships between the characters. They're usually what keeps you invested, and it's also a vehicle to drive the macro story forward, which mm. is the zoomed out state of the world that's in change. Most good stories have these two sides. The Last Airbender, for example, the best anime. Hell yeah. You got a group of teenagers <laughs> who are all going through their personal struggles. Yep. Micro story. And then micro the story. macro story, the police <laughs> taken over the world. Both things are equally important and they're intertwined. Very good. The Last of Us 2 nailed the micro, but utterly failed the macro. It's yes. so obsessed with its admittedly interesting characters that it forgot to move this fascinating world forward in any meaningful way. The first one had the idea of a cure and the father-daughter relationship. Yeah? I'm not king shaming. <laughs> <laughs> the second one is more about an inner struggle. Now that's cool, but that's I would cool. like to see more. And now yes. the actual story itself, don't worry, I won't spoil anything here, but I've had this thought before when playing video games, like when we kill all these thousands of generic NPCs, don't they have children or parents or siblings that would be really pissed? I know, it's just a stupid shower thought, but The Last of Us 2 is essentially about that very idea. Mm. It's about the endless spiral of violence that you cause when you act out. Stop! It's about the value Stop. of compassion, constantly pushing the player to understand how people are shaped by their circumstance. The constant subverting of who the good guys are and who the bad guys are is very predictable but also powerful. Now I want it's to true. add something else on top. 
I just have to do it for Gondrims. Gamers used to be, in my eyes at least, at the forefront of fighting for what art is allowed to portray. And now there is a very vocal and obnoxious group of Charmut that are gatekeeping like crazy. Did someone take a shit in your face? What? For the Epa! Why do you not afford video games the same freedoms as you afford movies, books, music? Art is externalizing what's internal. And if someone mm. wants to tell a story that has meaning to them, good for them. Maybe the game should have looked like an anime and then all people would be like, Kawaii! Neil Druckmann said the game isn't fun, it's engaging. Don't be so full of yourself. The Last of Us 2 is a game, and it's a shit ton of fun. You got a 25 hour long campaign, new game plus, tons of new difficulty customization, mm. visual customization, gameplay modifiers, unlockables. So much love and care went into this game. You should be proud. That's true. Before we get to my final rating, let's see what the Rantoni community uh, would give the game. Ooh. 7 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Beautiful game. Okay. 6 out of 10. It was okay. Pablo. 6 out of 10. Ass. 8 out of 10. Depressing. Limon. Depressing. My blue board, yeah. For the last of us two is a excellent nine out of ten. ten. Sub guys, Reddit meme die. Rantoni gang bang on Roni. Wait, what's his name? Johnny Sins. I mean. Ah yes, we we'll reached 1 million subscribers, thank you for all the amazing fan Congratulations, went on! 1 million subs, 1 million Fantoni Megalodoni Meg- Megla- Magla- Magla- You Magla misspelled Don. it! This one is awesome <laughs> Bro, what? Mudahar, Andy, <laughs> Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Caesar. Tak Fuji and uh, Todd Howard mixed with uh, Solid Snake That's a really nice one Thanks bro The stance is not good in your drawing But I love to just give back I, I love to just- in this segment, I love to just Appreciate the fan art, so I still featured it. Even oh, yeah. You suck. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you try weed for the first <laughs> This one is amazing. At first sight, it's just like, oh wow, it's Ranton, who gives a fuck? But then if yeah. you zoom in, baba booey. It's Ranton Ooh. made out of Ranton. <laughs> one of my most cursed face distortions. I look like I. What do I look like? I look like I have not much longer to live. And you walk by a window at the perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> That's from an Instagram picture. That's two Instagram pictures, bro. I see how it is. Oh my God, that's a Sofia face reveal. Damn, that's amazing. Sofia that's awesome. face reveal. Awesome. Awesome. Special thanks to all the Batamelonis. This is only possible because of you. I appreciate it. Lucas Atmelon. Spooky Blue. Mayuko. Red Castle. All right, my thing not creative. Ahmed Al Bak. Off Black Daddy. Hey, it's Abby. That's a Ramai. Jimmy Pauls and the Push Shot of Toro. Grishka Lobo Raskolnikov. Is that right? Ahmed Abudia. Oh my God. The Money Badger. Assalamu alaikum, Habibi. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you guys next time. Antoni out. No, there's gotta be more. No? Oh. God damn. Absolutely fantastic. The wait it was pretty worth it. Not gonna lie. God damn. Not gonna lie. Hot diggity. Um. <laughs> if you have not subscribed to Ranton, go do it now. And if you haven't watched any of his videos, go do that now. A 9 out of 10. Wow, that's really unexpected. I mean, not gonna lie. Even if the story was absolutely terrible, you have to admit, Naughty Dog did put in a lot of love and production value into the game itself. So, you know, a lot of options, a lot of mm, satisfying crunching sounds. That's pretty good, not gonna lie. It, yeah. And you know what? Pretty fair review. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. Anyways, guys, uh, if you really like my reaction, please hit that like button, go and comment, do whatever you want. And if you can, subscribe. We're almost up to 500 subs. Holy crap. And we can probably get to 1,000 subs right before the year ends. If we could. If we could. Please, 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 give me, give me, please. Um, other than that, Hot diggity. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching the video. Really appreciate it. There's going to be tons and tons more videos coming out later down the line as well. Including some projects I've been working on. So, yeah. Again, guys, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.